Now, an anonymous Twitter troll account that goes by the alias of PR Guy has made a name for himself or herself by pumping out relentless pro-Labor propaganda. The account has now been accused of indulging in defamatory attacks against Dan Andrews' political and ideological opponents. In October last year, PR Guy took aim at Rebel News presenter Avi Yemeni. Let me pronounce his name properly. Rebel News presenter Avi Yemeni. And in a since deleted tweet, uh, PR Guy blamed Avi for his role in so called far right activism, which led to surging cases. And he also blamed Avi for having Melbourne locked down. Incredible. Now, Avi wants to force Twitter to reveal the identity of this Twitter troll. And on Tuesday, lawyers for Rebel News and Mr Yemeni filed proceedings in the federal court to compel Twitter to release the pertinent information. I'm now joined by Rebel News presenter Avi Yemeni. Avi, thank you so much for your time. You're pursuing this action. Do you expect Twitter to unmask the troll? Um, and are you going to be suing them for defamation? So, yeah, thanks for having me, Rita. We're very confident that Twitter will hand over the identification of the troll. It's, you know, we're not, this is not a, a, a litigation against Twitter, really, even though it technically is. Uh, they just have, uh, they've said their privacy terms mean that we have to go through these um, jump through these hoops just to get it, but there's no real reason why they won't. At the end of the day, uh, we we are pursuing defamation, so they need to cough up the details. Now, there are many who believe, rightly or wrongly, that this account is linked to the Labor Party or is taxpayer-funded somehow, perhaps in a social media unit, uh, but it could just be some basement-dwelling doll bludger, couldn't it? It could be anyone, although since it's since, since it's started in March 2020, it's a little bit suspicious how quickly it grew and how quickly it grew at the time with so many verified left-wing um, followers. And back then, the, the whole verification process was closed, so you had to be one of really the inner circle to know about this account. So I, I don't know if it's... Uh, if the rumours are true and the speculation over time that we've heard that it was from someone within Daniel's, Daniel Andrews' close circle, a staffer, it's certainly someone with a lot of information. And either way, um, in the very near future, we're all going to find out. Well, yeah, if you're successful in your federal court action, now we're not suggesting this account's connected to Dan Andrews' team or social media unit. We're just uh, talking about the suspicions of how well informed this account seems to be. It's quite often it seems to be in sync with a lot of the uh, Labor government messaging. But what do you say to those who say, argue, well, anonymous accounts and anonymity is really quite crucial in social media and you shouldn't try to unmask an account, even if it's a troll account. Usually I'd agree, but when you cross a line, it doesn't matter who you are, um, if you do something unlawful or if someone has a civil claim against you, you shouldn't be able to hide behind an anonymous uh, thing. Just That doesn't give you a free pass. So I more than welcome everybody to have anonymous accounts. I think it's a bit cowardly. I don't know why someone, in, in most of the time, why... Uh, someone wouldn't put their name to something, uh, you're obviously not proud of it. But um, that, that's in general terms. There are reasons where people, you know, they're trying to protect their job or whatever it is. I understand they want to uh, use an anonymous account, but that doesn't give you a free pass to defame or break the law. And that's where PR Guy has crossed the line specifically with me. And I'm sure that once um, once we find out who it is, it may bring up a lot of other issues uh, for that camp. Avi Yemeni, thank you for joining me tonight. Thanks for having me, Rita.